Well, Shane, what's going on today? I think this is like day eight of the suffering. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going back to get the last day of packing, hopefully. It's there. Cr- feet been wet for days and and we had nothing to eat there but a handful of peanuts. <laughs> really good diet plan. But it ought to be the best memories of lifetime when we're done with it. And it's it's good times. You gotta enjoy suffering and then it's fun. Foggy and cold. Go ahead, lead the way. We've spent four days here and haven't seen anything really at all. Saw a couple caribou and uh, haven't seen a single moose in four days of glassing. Pretty crazy and we've looked over a lot of country so Mark's coming to get us this morning and uh, I just came up on this knob. Shane's been fishing, hopefully catching a fish for dinner. I came up on this knob and reading my Bible and journaling and uh, just enjoying this beautiful creation. So we're going to move to where we saw a bunch of moose when we were flying in. And I think I'll turn one up there, no problem. I've got five days of hunting over there. Six, if I really push it. Um, the weather's supposed to hold, be nice. I think we're going to have a have a good run. I think I'm going to get on a bull over there. This I've never, I've hunted in Alaska a lot. I've never not seen a moose in this much glassing. This is something else. So it's just all part of it. And uh, we got plenty of time. And we're going to move to a different spot and hit it hard. A lot of good vantage points there. A lot of good moose country. So I am pretty confident if we can get over there and this wind doesn't stop us, we're going to kill one. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. spot it's not the spot we wanted um, it's an alder mess and we're gonna see what we can do it's gonna be a struggle so I think we're gonna camp out up on the hillside tonight try and get up where the moose are so we can go after them in the morning 
that bear's been here today. It's just carnage, just feed, feeding on salmon all down the beach. sale going on here. And I'm trying to dry everything out. Move to a new lake. And we're packing everything up. We're going to go up on the mountain and we're going to stay there for however long it takes to kill a bull. You know where you're going? We've made a long climb. The bugs are bad. The alder was horrid. But now we got this big basin. We're gonna camp out here. We're gonna be able to watch this and the next basin on the other side of this hill. So maybe we'll get to see a moose. We just spotted three grizzlies over there. Right out there in the middle. As we got dinner cooking and a fire started, the evening fell on us and the animals started popping out of absolutely everywhere. We still haven't seen a moose that we can actually go after. Animals are popping out, but we were waiting for the one animal that we hadn't seen yet. And he finally showed up right before dark. What do you think, Shane? You having fun yet? I don't know if you say it was there. Fun, but it's there. It's been getting real quiet and a good time is starting to be had. I'm enjoying it. Look, look at this here. It just is a, it's a life I, I always wanted to live. Well, finally got a great bull spotted. He's right back behind me there. And uh, we've seen three grizzly bears and a black bear up in this canyon. So it is just a gorgeous night. I have been dreaming about finding a basin like this my whole life in Alaska. I finally found one. It's awesome. So we know there's moose in here. There's lots of animal activity. I think we're gonna take one in the next day or two. So I'm pretty excited. We're gonna turn in for the night. We flew today, so can't hunt today. Otherwise we could have that bull bear. It's probably 9 o'clock at night right now. Never ending up here. Good work. Well, we don't need a bear or stuff, he's not real nice. They don't move something. We're stalking in on a bear, and Shane needs to take time to comb his beard. <laughs> I gotta look good for the camera here. <laughs> I got my hat on representing our lord because without him this trip wouldn't have been possible so we're ready to go all right
<laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome video. You like that? Yeah. Really good. Well, we just got a bear. Shane's back there skinning it out, and I've spotted a bull way over here. And I think I'm gonna go kill him. So I gotta go back and get Shane, and uh, hopefully get on this bull. I don't know what the best way is. Crazy. Good times. All the way. Yep, right there. There he is. Okay, so he's right there. I got the brown patch. Right to his right. I got that little gut ravine. And that big one. So he's closer to that gut. And he's right in there. I think if I can get right on that ridge right there. I won't be able to see him until he stands up. But when he stands up, I think I'll be able to shoot him. Maybe. When he walks one way or the other. It's not the best spot I've ever seen for a stock, but it'll work. It's an all right morning up here in Alaska. The scenery's a little ugly. If you can just see some of these mountains back here. Absolutely amazing. All around, I mean, look at that. All right, well, we were camped up there. We killed a bear this morning, and now we're headed over. We spotted the moose that we saw last night. And it's way over on that hillside over there. So we're gonna drop down through this canyon somehow and get over there and see if we can't kill him. I think there's a, about an 80% chance we're gonna kill him, though. Wish us luck. Working our way over here to this bull. It's gonna be another hour probably before we get to him. The bugs are bad. But I think we've got this moose. I feel better and better the closer we get. Our wind's a little funky, but we'll make it work. All right, we're working our way in on this bull. We've been walking for hours now. But he's, we gotta go down to this deep canyon and he's gonna be right up on that little knob we're gonna get set up and it should be maybe a two to three hundred yard shot on him. And he's just bedded in that stuff. So we're gonna just get up there, relax, get all set up, get the camera set up and maybe try calling him and see what happens. So this is exciting, beautiful country. Amazing that God created all this. Love it. Not the bugs though. I'm gonna have a word with him about that.
I see it's horn. He's down. Thanks, Shane. I know that was miserable, but not here. <laughs> and the pain's just starting. <laughs> oh, I glassed that sucker last night, and I was just praying that we'd get him today. We were wrong where he was. I just went for it when I saw it. I see that. I just, <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> Wait till he got out there in the open. <laughs> Shoot, I don't got that kind of, no, because he could have walked right through. Yeah, you never know. pushing through alder. Yeah. He could have just disappeared and all this stuff. Never see him again. Is he moving? Is he getting up and taking off? Probably just kicking around. That last shot I held right up into his neck. Yeah, it wasn't that great a video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. That was more. That was classic right there. But if you look back here, we spotted him from way like two miles that way, which was three miles from the lake. Up so, on top of that round hill, right up there. So we're five miles from th this lake, but luckily we're only about a mile and a half, almost two miles from the other lake. So, you can see this is just some unbelievable country. What a blessing. We're gonna go up there and take a look at this thing, but I saw him, I watched him for a long time earlier today and yesterday. He's a good bull, so we're gonna go pick him up, see what's up. struggling. We were on another lake and uh, we really wanted to take in this experience. Last year when we came up we killed three bulls in two days and it was just chaos the whole time but this this year we've gotten to enjoy the country and we came backpacking up in here. We're like four or five miles from the main lake and we camped out one night and we've just been moving farther and farther back this base and we finally saw this bull last night and I found him again this morning and we came over here and it just about didn't come together brother always says it's not the size of the trophy it's the size of the experience and I think this is by far my favorite Alaskan moose just up here enjoying the country with Shane you can't really beat this this is all we wanted here to be we're a long ways in and we beautiful country and we've seen four grizzly bears in this valley and it, it just is romantic as it gets. I got lots of time to pack them. Today's Sunday. That gives us till Friday to get them out. Okay, we, we got better, this. We better get to it. We got a scare bear up. We packed the meat away from the carcass. Got to cover it up here in some shade. It's going to be 65 the next couple days, so keeping this meat cool is important, but it is getting down to almost freezing at night. So we got that going for us. We're going to set up camp, call it good. Well, we've been up here for a couple days now, and all we brought was food for about one day, and we have about four days ahead of us, so. We're gonna be surviving on moose tenderloin. We're gonna cook this stuff up. And we're gonna have some good eats. But this is all we got for a few days. I think I got the food. 
Yeah. Really tender, my goodness. Yeah. I The original jet boil going this morning. Making coffee. Got Shane, master chef. We're gonna have coffee with a side of coffee. Maybe a glass of water for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and we're happy about that. But the location's great. We're going down that valley. <laughs> Got a pot of meat here. This is how we're surviving. We're boiling tenderloin. And it's not as awesome as it sounds. Oh, this big flat up here. It's like 3,000 feet of just solid willow. Our machete's all folded in half. We just can't do it. So we're walking the creek and we're already soaked. This is the last time we'll be dry. We were dry for the next few days. So we're going to be packing, slogging this moose up and down this creek a few thousand feet. Should be a good time. up this river and it is a long pack we both agree this is the hardest pack we've ever had good morning Justin good morning it's a brisk 20 ish degrees up here in Alaska and uh, we've been sloshing up the creek, and I somehow have to get these on. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Man, the suffering's real on this hunt. <sighs> okay, now. Didn't work out, so now I'm going for the boots. Oh man, they are frozen solid. Mine were just like that. How'd you get your feet in? A long, it was, it was a long struggle. Once it drops in there, it's just, just it's good feeling here. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Good Lord. Oh, I don't have my pants on. <laughs> What you doing down there, Shane? What? What are you doing? Taking a bath. Nice. Yeah. We are soaked and cold. There's no firewood hardly here. Shane's chopping up some tenderloin. We're starving. Look how serious Shane is, man, he's serious. <laughs> this guy is just in kill mode. <laughs> Hard time. Survival mode.
Best memories of lifetime when we're done with it. And it's it's good times. You gotta enjoy suffering, and then it's fun.